so everyone, everyone close your eyes. If you can hang out with us, if you can't, uh, God love you. Um, thank you for being here. And maybe you can check out this last part later. You can listen, watch the recording. Um, so with your eyes closed, just go inside for a moment and just allow yourself to be aware of where you may be carrying trauma. And it may be ancestral trauma. It may go back a couple hundred years. It may go back a couple thousand years. And just acknowledge where that might be. Take a deep breath, open your eyes. Even though there's probably some trauma in there, I choose to love and accept myself. Even though there is stuff to be healed, I choose to love and honor myself. Even though there's probably some trauma in there, it may be from this lifetime, it might be from some other lifetime, maybe my whole lineage. And whether I know it or not, it's running some of my decisions. And it's limiting how good I can feel. And even though I'm carrying at least somebody's trauma, I choose to deeply and completely love, honor, and accept myself. And maybe everybody else. Because I choose for all of us to be that free. All this old trauma, all of this old trauma, whether I picked it up in this lifetime or it came to me through my DNA, it's time to break the cycle. It's time to heal. I'm healing for myself. I'm healing for the people yet to come in the future. I'm healing for all of my ancestors. Because the present moment is all there is. Whatever trauma might have happened, all there is is the trauma that I'm holding right now. And I get to heal that. I can heal that. I deserve to heal that. I don't owe it to anyone to hang on to it. Part of me might say, people in my family and in my ancestry suffered so much, I owe it to them to carry this pain. That doesn't do them any good. And it just continues the cycle. I have a right to feel pain. I have a right to feel sadness. I have a right to be angry. My fear is justifiable. Any embarrassment I have is understandable. Any shame or guilt I feel is understandable. And it's not serving anyone. I cannot feel upset enough to make anyone's life better. 
especially my own. As I set myself free, I'm setting so many other people free. I'm inviting them to be free. I'm liberating myself first. Liberating myself from past trauma. I love and appreciate those parts of me that have been holding on to this. Carrying other people's baggage, either because I thought I had to, because I thought that it honored them, or because I didn't even know I had it. I may be unaware of how much baggage I've been carrying and wondering why I feel like I'm so slow at times. <laughs> carrying all this extra weight is slowing me down. I'm giving myself permission to put that baggage down. or at least start the process. I'm allowing myself to heal. And everything is energy. So we are all connected. So the healing I allow myself heals the collective whole. I'm healing other people. Part of me might say, wait a minute. There are some people I'm really pissed off at. And if my healing is going to help them, I better hang on to some of this pain and trauma to punish them, to teach them a lesson. And I'm tapping through that. <laughs> And I'm giving myself permission to feel peace. Giving myself permission to feel love. Because I deserve to feel that good. And if that means other people feel more peace, I can be good with that. It's a win-win situation. I'm allowing myself to feel more peace and love. And I'm inviting others to join me. As I set myself truly free. In body, mind, and spirit. Take a deep breath. 